Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a complete tour of the software Conversion and uh, we'll show you how can you use the tools inside it. So here's the login screen. From here, once you log in, it will take you to a dashboard. So in this dashboard, they have mentioned three different st uh, steps that you'll have to follow to start creating your own campaign. So first that you'll have to do is to do the domain setup. So I'll click on domain setup over here. So I already have my domain all added over here. Or uh, if you want, you can add multiple domains, whatsoever domain you want. So this is my page. I already have my landing page ready with me so that I can show you all the tools. So you just have to copy the domain name and paste over there and click on save. Once it's done, just go to back, go back to dashboard, click on add pixel. So we'll have to add this small line of code pixel. So just click on uh, copy, your code will be copied and you can send it to your developer or you can manually install it in the header of footer of your landing pages. Now go back to dashboard. Now comes the time like where you can create your own campaigns. So you have two options. Either you can click create campaign here or here. So we'll just go, uh, go by clicking uh, campaign like create campaign. So in this section, this tab, they'll show you all the tools that you have with you. So we have tab messaging, hello, hello bar plus timer, central timer, mobile vibrator, back button redirection. We have so many amazing tools in this. So I'll show you how can you use tab messaging. So first click on campaigns, tab messaging. Over here, you'll have to enter the campaign name. But just to be sure, like this is just for you. It's for you to identify the campaigns uh, after, like after you created this. It's not going to be visible to your visitors. So I'll name it as uh, tab message demo. Click next. So over here, you'll get two different options. Either you can enter your own custom message. For example, I'll enter hi there. Click on add. So your custom message is already added. If you want some messages from the predefined list, so you can just click on plus over here, plus icon. So these are the messages that is, that is like added from the predefined gallery. The second option that you'll have to do is click on Fabicon and select the type of Fabicon that emojis basically that you want to display. I, I pretty much like this one or I can change it to flower. So I have changed the Fabicon as well. Now the timing part. So in the timing, you'll have to enter a time like uh, for the first message. It's like after how much time you want to display your first message. And the time interval between two messages. It's like pretty clear. This sound option. So you can enable the sound notification as well. So I'll enable it. Now I'll go to trigger. So trigger is something that is really important. It shows like on which page you want to display your uh, campaigns. So in my case, like I have this website conversi.com. Under conversigo.com, I have so many pages, but I want to display it on this particular page. So I'll just, just copy the URL and paste it in the include section. So you have two different options. Uh, either you can include or exclude. Okay, so I have added the domain in include section and click on save. So my campaign is saved here. Just click OK. Go to your landing page. I'll just refresh it. I hope, I think like our campaign should be active by now. So I'll just wait for the page to load. It's loaded. Now we'll change the tab. So, okay, now you can see we, uh, it's showing our messages, right? Uh, hey, don't miss out, don't forget. So this is the uh, tool tab, tab messaging. Now we'll go and create some other campaigns as well. So second option, second campaign that I'm going to create, uh, let's go with hello bar plus timer. So in hello bar plus timer, again, we'll have to enter the campaign name. So I'll enter hello bar plus timer demo. Click on next. So in this section, we'll get three different options. What's the layout of your uh, timer and hello bar that you want? So I'll click on preview. So, okay. So this is the uh, this, uh, se um, second option. This is the third option. I say I'll go with the third one. Now I click on text. So in the text, what what text you want? So right now they have mentioned grab it right now. Coupon expires in. 
you can change it anything so i'll just and change few text harina offer offer is expiring okay coupon expires in okay we have changed the text if you want you can make it bold unbold you can change the color so you can do all this stuff from here so if you want to change the color text it can be changed easily but still we'll keep it white itself and uh, so comes the third part cta that is call to action so what what call to action you want you want get access now or if you want to change it to shop now you can you can you can do uh, do it anything but i'll i'll go with get access now only then in ct redirection so we have three different options in ct redirection one is redirect so it will normally take you to a different page then redirect in a new tab it will take you to a new tab and redirect uh, users over there third option is scroll so scroll on the same page so we'll go with redirect in a new tab let's enter the url google.com that is done now in the timer section you'll have to again you'll get three different options date and time based cookie based evergreen based so depending upon your preference you can change the time time and all those setting so i won't change much i'll just change the time so that uh, our timer is active it's showing one day 23 hours so that is done what do you want to do when the timer expires so redirect hide or uh, show static timers as zero we have these three options so i'll just keep it as uh, show static central time at zero now in the styling section you can change the background of your page and do a lot of stuff so i'll just uh, change change the color if you want you can change all the stuff and then in the trigger section again you'll have to enter the url of your landing page so i've entered the url now click on save the magic is done our hello web plus timer campaign is active now Let's go to the page and refresh it once again. Here comes our Hello World Plus timer. I hope you can see that. Hurry now, coupon expires in and the timing is showing, timer is active. If I'm clicking on get access now, it is taking me to a new page that is going to convert it. And uh, apart from that, our time messaging is already active. I'll show you one more tool. Let's let's go with uh, exit intent. So, Exit intent is basically a pop up pop up which opens up when someone tries to open or like leave a website. So I'll just name it as exit intent demo. Next, I think the text is already like predefined. Whatever text is there, we'll we'll go ahead with this. We won't change a lot of stuff. In the email section, you can uh, you have this option to upload your manual emails as well. So right now, this is your exit intent is going to look like so if you want to change it i'll just uh, select a file upload any random file and uh, okay the file is completed uploaded this is how it's going to look now we have added an image uh, in between and now in the cta you have again those three options what you what exactly you want so you can enter any url whatever whatever you want you can do that okay i'll just uh, go with google.com in the style section, again, uh, you have this option to enable background uh, or uh, you want, you can reset it, okay, disable it. So we'll just go with the default one. We'll just uh, add the trigger because that's the most important part. I'll just copy the uh, URL again and uh, paste it over there. Click on save. So our campaign is ready now again. So we'll just go to the landing page and refresh. So our page is referenced, we have our uh, hello world uh, already working, I'll just, uh, so when I just moved away the cursor from uh, this page, this pop-up automatically comes up. So this is it, this is the landing page that I was talking about, this is what uh, exit intent is. So I hope you understand, understood how can we use uh, this whole tool. Thank you very much and have a nice day.